Tom Carbone here. We are at Moosehead Lake, day before the big eclipse tomorrow, and we've got beautiful blue skies today. We're hoping it's going to be like this tomorrow. Sun is going to get eclipsed right around behind me there, near Moose Mountain, Big Moose Mountain. We are right in the path of totality, and uh, unusual to have this great weather this time of year. We'll show you as we hit totality here along the lake and uh, some of the phases of the eclipse when we've got the partial eclipse with some photos. So stay tuned. Well, we had an amazing total solar eclipse here at the lake at Moosehead Lake yesterday. And today we've got a third day of beautiful blue skies. I hope you got to enjoy some of that eclipse, whether partial or we're up in the path for totality. There were a lot of people here, and I'll be sharing the video and the photos of the event in this here YouTube show. So I hope you enjoyed that. It definitely was a, an amazing experience to go through totality and to hear the silence that encompassed the shores as people were in awe as the moon eclipsed the sun. The moon eclipsed the sun right out there over Big Moose Mountain, and uh, it was a great show, and I hope you enjoy it. On the day of the eclipse, we woke up to, again, another beautiful banner day here on Moosehead Lake. Completely cloudless blue skies. Spent the morning by the fire, having a coffee, waiting for the big event to occur. During the eclipse, I had three video cameras going, and then I was taking photos using my long 600 millimeter lens, which I'll interleave those photos with the videos. So you'll get three different perspectives of kind of a time-lapse, sped up video in a lot of cases. Just as a, a word here, I am not an eclipse chaser. <laughs> this is the first time I took photographs or video of an eclipse, first time seeing totality. At this point, you can see on this video planets. There's two planets. One you can see above the branch there on the right, and another one just right in the lower branch, unfortunately. Neptune and Venus, I believe. The sun flares phenomena that expand from the surface of the sun are huge and you can see they change position or more become visible as time progressed. The one on the bottom left is supposedly four times the size of the Earth's diameter. Around now the temperature dropped, we kind of were coming out of totality so there was a delayed effect and of course the wind probably had some impact on that blowing across the ice. Take a look at that top left corner, you'll see an airplane goes around and makes a loop. So I'm not sure what flight that was and that was at high speed time lapse. This is a different video from an iPhone. You can see the one planet and I'm sorry that we cut off the sun at the top, but you can see it comes out of totality. And on the iPhone, it was really hard to see the darkness. It adjusted itself. 
And unfortunately, I wasn't able to monitor each video camera while I was taking photos, the still shots. So they were left on their own and I haven't edited any of those videos. The time-lapse video here is at 20x speed. You might see some haze going across the screen. That's not clouds, that actually was from the small campfire we had going behind us. The focus adjustments here where it's trying to find focus is being done automatically by the iPhone because of the light change. And it looks like it's being moved by somebody, but it's actually not. It's just trying to focus. One of the other video cameras was really bad. It tried to focus during totality and I had to cut that out. Oh, it's so dark. Oh my goodness. Look in the camera how much you can still see. Oh, there's a bat. May have been a bat. Could have been a chickadee. Not sure. Some birds were taking off. This was kind of a surprise to see. I was walking over to check another video camera and on the boardwalk, you can see the outline, hundreds, maybe a thousand outlines of the sun coming out of totality. And I had thought because we didn't have leaf trees out yet, we wouldn't see this, but this was under a spruce tree. And so there's enough of pinhole light, just as you would create a pinhole viewer that was then spreading those images on this boardwalk. Kind of amazing.